show the other day where the main character lived inside of a trailer house? And I thought how fun would it be if I attempted to build a trailer house in Bloxburg? Cause I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all, I am sick of building mansions. We are going yeehaw country style and we're living in a trailer house. Let's go. So when I say trailer house, I want to have a very desert like Feel. I want it to feel like our trailer house is in the desert. I've built quite a few vans, however, I've never actually built a trailer house. Although I did renovate one for you guys before. And that was actually really fun. That was one of the most like viewed root viewed root oh my gosh viewed renovation i cannot say viewed renovations there we go that was one of the most viewed renovate rude oh my god that was one of the most viewed renovation videos on my channel Anyway, the layout for this trailer house, because we have such a small space to work with, we have to make sure we use our space very wisely. So what if we have kitchen, living room, dining area, bathroom, and then bedroom? Maybe on the outside we can have a porch. So I'm actually gonna go into the roof section, add a porch around this entire thing. It's called a porch or like a patio? I'm gonna say porch. And we cannot forget those little make-believe stairs as well. I just realized, how am I gonna add a fence up here? Okay, I found this photo. This is kind of my inspiration. A gated porch outside of the trailer so fingers crossed this will fit it does kind of only question is uh what roof do i use to make this look like a trailer house something like this i don't know this isn't really looking like a trailer maybe it's because i need to paint it so trailers are typically made out of this metal roof texture or we can use horizontal planks you know what actually no we can spice it up horizontal planks at the top and then down the bottom oh you guessed it metal All right side note you know who has such good trailer house inspiration the sims 4 I was on pinterest and look at this hello i would drop everything in my life to live in this bin i'm not even kidding some of the builders on the sims 4 are like insanely talented kind of intimidated by them i'm not gonna lie I'm also gonna add a few modifications to these clear windows because let's be honest, they're kind of basic. I don't want this to look like a bad trailer house though. Still want it to feel nice and cozy. A side note, this is actually a massive trailer house. I don't know why I decided to make it so big. Can I say, I just, I love being extra. Okay, what door do we add? I really wanna add the screen porch door, but it doesn't fit with the measurements, which sucks. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna use this door. She's not too bad, okay? She's She's got character. I'm just keen to finish this so then I can go ahead and watch the Oscar. I'm not even interested in the Oscars, okay? I'm just there for the drama. I sense tension and came as fast as I could. Oh, you know what I also love? Getting disconnected from my own game. That's, thank you, Roblox. Wow, Bloxburg, imagine disconnecting me. Wow. Anyway, I'm back and we're also adding awnings up here. Damn, the awnings made this thing like 10 times better. As for the lighting, nice, warm, cozy lighting. You know what would make this look so much more realistic? If Bloxburg had air conditioning. They do. The only problem is we're going to have a little box sticking out of our wall, but hey, at least we get aircon. I think that's everything for the outside. Next up, we have the porch. This is where Granny and Grandpa like to sit outside, play the scrabble, just have a nice, relaxing afternoon. I mean, hey, for that touch of realism, we can add a pizza on the table. Maybe grandpa's reading glasses. I love how I just assume a grandpa is living here. What a barbecue. I feel like a trailer house would definitely have a barbecue. I guess we can have one here. And last but not least, a hammock. Because, I mean, who doesn't want a hammock? Remember when I was like 10, I asked for a hammock for Christmas? It was a really weird thing to ask for Christmas. But, um, yeah. And then finally, a garden to make it really come together. I don't want like a super neat garden. I kind of want an overgrown little bit of a messy garden not too neat with cactuses here and there because i mean it is a desert we need cactuses you know what i definitely want to start doing more of in bloxburg different terrains like i want to start doing snow terrain desert terrains not just grassy terrain you know okay one last thing i want is an overgrown footpath so i'm gonna place a few of these carpets then we're gonna get a dirt pile make this the same color as the sand and put this along the edges of the carpet that way it kind of looks like a footpath was meant to go there but it's just got overgrown by the dirt and then trees because we love trees. Do you guys love how I'm doing a desert trailer house and I'm literally adding exotic trees? One last thing I want to add is of course a vehicle but not any vehicle. We add in the one and only pickup truck. Wow, I love spending $130,000 in a car that I'm never going to use. Ha ha ha.
Okay, so that is the outside of our trailer house. Now we can finally start working on the inside. I just realized we can't add a regular roof because the house is extended up. I'm gonna have to add a roof inside of the basement. The reason this sucks though is because the floor looks a bit messed up. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna do for the interior style. We are doing a country style. Have I ever done a country interior design style before? No, maybe, I actually don't remember. Okay, I'm stopping this accent, it's annoying. Scratch that, I think I have actually. Back when I renovated one of your guys' trailer houses, pretty sure the design style was luxurious mixed with country. Okay, let's start off with the living room first. So we're gonna have the living room right here. Look, like these transitional sofas would be super cute. You know what would also be super cute if I, I could, could say anything? anything? Why is everything so dark right now? My brightness is literally all the way up and I'm like struggling to see. <laughs> Oh, I mean, hey, if we're doing a country style interior, you use rustic furniture. I'm such a sucker for this rustic furniture. Have I like used it much often? Not really. I want this trailer house to feel very lived in. That is my goal. I feel like my problem nowadays is I make houses that are too flash and too fancy. Most of the times they don't even look like they've been lived in. Bloxburg have horseshoes. Oh, they don't. In my head, I was like, a horseshoe would look really cute in this house. I typed up horseshoe. This is not a horseshoe. Bloxburg, you're so annoying. I was gonna put horseshoes on the wall. Do Bloxburg have horseshoes? Uh, no. Okay, our living room's coming together nicely. I wanted to put the TV stand and the console table kind of intertwined together. Also, I've changed my mind. I want a kid to live here as well. So we're gonna have a few toys on the ground to make this feel very realistic. Okay, so that's our living room. Next up, we have the kitchen, which I was gonna put here. I don't know how we're gonna do that now. Yeah, now that I think of it, I should have probably done the kitchen first. You know me, I just, I love struggling. <gasps> Where do I put the kitchen? You know what, we're having it here. Damn, shout out to myself for uh, not measuring out my builds properly. Woo! Look for a trailer house. This is a pretty spacious kitchen. Oh, the only problem is I now don't know where to put the dining table. You know, I'm gonna make this the most lived in realistic kitchen. Grocery bags, money, newspaper maybe, I don't know. We could be making something on the cutting board over here. If you guessed peanut butter and jelly, you are correct. So that is what we are making. Oh, and the sink. I always forget a sink. I don't know what it is with me lately. We could add a dishwasher, but in this trailer house, we hand wash our dishes. Isn't that right, Alaska? You look terrifying. Don't even look at me. When I made Roblox, right? Like when I made Roblox, what possessed me to make the most scary looking avatar? Like, have, why does she look like that? And I also want pots on the oven, but for some reason, Bloxburg doesn't let you add pots on the oven. Why? 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 So you literally have to add a basic shape on top of the oven. Then you can go ahead and add pots. It's very stupid. Oh, and apparently I still can't. Okay. Anyway, that is the kitchen done. As for the dining table, I was originally going to have it here, but now that we can't, I'm going to have it in this empty section. Wait, does Bloxburg have high chairs for kids? Oh, they do. Oh, that's perfect. We're adding one. My baby, um... John. I'm kidding. Why would I name my baby John? I just realized I have a friend called John who watches my videos. John, I love you. <laughs> John's like, excuse me? Don't be rude. Are you kidding me? I feel bad now. It's fine. I'll, I'll name my baby John. If I ever have a kid, I'll, I'll name it John. Okay, and now that the dining table's done, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add some posters on the wall and fix up the lighting. <laughs> I kind of forgot about the lighting, guys. Whoops. Okay, I think that's cute. I don't want the lighting too crazy. Then next up, we have the bathroom. Oh, look at these square tiles. When was the last time I had square tiles? There is so many materials that I just have not added. Probably on Bloxburg, and I'm like, that's a thing. Okay, I think it's like an ongoing joke on my channel where I'm like, ew, I hate these pre-built shower sets. And I swear to you guys, in the past three videos, I have added these. I'm not even kidding. Now you have become the very thing you swore to destroy. Uh, you know what? Not today, a loser. Today we're adding a barrel bathtub because it's country house. And then we are adding a shower above the bath. And why am I talking like Terry from TikTok? I'm from a sexture. I love adding white curtains to my builds. I recently added white curtains in my room actually and it makes my room look so much brighter and bigger. That's a little uh, room hack I have for you guys. If your room is like looking too dark or too small and you have really small windows, buy long white curtains and place them in your room. You will thank me, they look amazing. 
Also, I'm getting rid of this wall. I just thought of something. Instead of a wall, having a small basic shape instead. This way I can have the toilet here. And then on this weird little wall I added, maybe some toilet paper, a toiletry bag, and then one single oak shelf. Lastly, we just need a sink, which I think I'm going to place right here. It's a fancy country sink. I need to stop doing the country accent, guys. <laughs> it's starting to become a problem. I just, I can't stop doing a country accent. Stop it. Get some help. You know, typically I would have two sinks in my bathroom, but considering this is a trailer house after all, we're only gonna add one sink. I don't know why this house feels so nostalgic. The more I'm building it, the more I'm like, have I been in this house before? Okay, lastly, towels. And then voila, that is our bathroom. Last but not least, we have my bedroom, which you know what? This is a huge bedroom for a trailer house. Why did I make it so big? Can I say I'm just I'm just a material girl? The bed, I'm talking big, fat, juicy, contemporary double bed. I'm I'm not gonna place that here actually. I don't wanna block in the window. We're gonna place it this way. Okay, fat pillows for my fat ego. I'm kidding. <laughs> No, I'm not. Wow, can we just talk about the fact that I uh, I didn't add 500 pillows to my bed this time? Improvement, guys? Question mark? Um, character development, if I say so. I love adding heaps of blankets in my bed, though. My favorite time of year is July, like midwinter July. It's literally so cozy. I have big fat bed sheets. The pillows are all fluffed up. It is amazing. It was perfect. We have to keep in mind, this is not only a bedroom, but it also has to be a nursery as well. I kind of forgot that I own a child in this little scenario. What's my child's name again? Oh, John. John's bed can go... You know what, Johnny boy? You can sleep next to me. Wait, that's a changing table. <laughs> I would be an awful mother. Good thing I ain't a mother. We get a changing table right here. Maybe next to the changing table, I can have cabinets. Actually, I want the crib like right next to where I sleep. Is that allowed? Mothers, is that allowed? I don't think a mum's watching this video, but like if you're a mum, no, can I have the crib next to my bed? I don't, I don't know. know. You know what? There's no rules. I'm I'm putting the crib next to my bed. Oh, I guess we also need a chair so we can feed it. <laughs> Did I just call the child an it? We have a pretend milk bottle right here. And yes, it's a ketchup bottle, but shh. Okay, room's coming along nicely. Maybe along this side we'll have a desk. Great. I've woken up the beast. Okay, so I think that's all the furniture in my room. Um, it is really screaming country vibes. Might break it up by adding some plants in here. Okay, and with the lighting done, that is our trailer house all complete. And this thing comes to a total of, oh my gosh, $213,000 for a trailer house. I was, I thought I was trying to go cheap. Oh, it's probably because of the car. Okay, minus the car. This thing's around like 100K, which isn't too bad. So this is how the outside look. Very desert country vibes. Oh, let's stop doing the accent. I love this footpath here that leads straight up into the patio. Nice little hammock here in case you want to relax after a nice stressful day. This is not an appealing angle of my face. Okay. And over here we've got the barbecue. If we want to have dinner outside, we can sit here, eat some of our pizza, and enjoy the gorgeous view. And then as soon as you come inside, this is the inside of our trailer house. It looks very lived in, which is exactly the type of vibe that I wanted to go for. Firstly, we have the living room. Very, very country Farmhouse. As you can see on the wall, we have a bunch of like kid arts. We then have the kitchen over here. Now that I think of it, it's a very odd shaped kitchen. It's literally half a diamond, but you know what? It actually turned out pretty nicely. I love the little details that I added as well. And then we have the dining room, which is kind of smack bang in the middle. I have never added these little TVs. I'm glad I did. And then if we come down the hallway, then have our bathroom, which is a little bit more fancier than the rest of the trailer house. Still carrying on that country style. Really just living my best life over here. And then last but not least, we have my bedroom. You know, the bedroom is kind of cute. It's not my typical go-to theme. I just love the details. I love how it's not only my bedroom, but it's also a nursery. And just the details of like all the kids drawings over here. And then if we want to go pick up some girls, Groceries, we can hop in our van and then see you later. <laughs> Okay, I can just crash into a pot. So yeah, that was me building a trailer house in Bloxburg. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!